Hello and welcome to this video. Today we'll be looking uh, at the first part of my Scottish series, which explains the entire Scottish. And we're going to be starting with the most normal response to Scottish, which is Knight Capture Knight. Qu queen takes with the response of Queen F6. Hello, I'm Noah. And you're watching Chess Noah Tutorials. The Scottish is the opening which starts with e4, responds with e5, knights develop into what is normally as uh, Italian or Spanish, but the play is d4 to immediately fight for the center with the extra pawn. Um, after take, knight takes. The most normal thing, even though not the best, the best is to develop knight here, as you can see by the uh, PC. Um, the most normal move is to take with a knight on d4. Um, queen takes back. This is called the capture uh, uh, queen. Uh, it's um, Scottish, and he started the best move for him now is queen development. Why would you develop your queen? You want to strengthen your uh, own position, getting a strong queen, uh, and you want to trade off. If the queen is traded off, your position becomes a lot better. Um, he, The most normal move is, of course, bishop just check. It's the best move too. Um, and uh, In this case, there's two moves that is uh, really bad to do. Of course, knight developed to... Uh, C3 is gonna uh, is gonna become a double pawn that you don't want on C3, and developing the bishop into the square of D2 uh, is gonna have the queen take um, the pawn and yeah you're going to be down a lot because it's just gonna take a rock you're down a pawn, you're in a lot of trouble which you of course don't want. Um, at the same time, moving the knight in between doesn't blunder anything, but it kind of loses your momentum because now you have blocked in your uh, bishop. And the main reason we play queen d3 uh, was to not block off the black square bishops because we want the black square bishop to the e e3 square later um, if the bishop were to move here. Uh, and now, since the queen is blocking our other bishops, both of our bishops is blocked and it's gonna have a hard time developing later. So the best move here is probably just to push pawn, push the pawn forward, attack, uh, attack away the bishop. It weakens our pawn structure generally, but it isn't that big of a problem. Bishop up is a normal move, now you're attacking uh, checkmate. It's just good to fight off it simple and it normally becomes trade-off. Now we're getting to the part. Normally uh, your opponent will decide to develop the knight because it's the easiest and safest option. Uh, the computer uh, is going forward and backwards on what is best but queen here is best because you then you're getting traded off queen before it's too late. Cause the thing is, if you play knight here, um, you're coming to the part where it's really up to you. You can you can develop safely. You can have a easy position. You can get the castle, develop the knight. But there is a good move that is knight to a three. Uh, the reason we're playing knight to a three is cause you are too late. Uh, and uh, what I'm threatening is to move knight here and getting fork on your pawn on say you decide to castle. I can move knight in to a, uh, a b5. We're attacking both the pawns on c7 and the pawns on a7. Uh, and the best thing you can do is to protect the c pawn and let me win this uh um, pawn and of course my bishop is protecting the knight so you're not able to uh, protect uh, block the knight in uh, from losing it this means that the best move now is of course to play queen in here in the and if the opponent doesn't see what to do 
you're going to be standing better. Pawn C C six is also a possibility uh, because then you're blocking your knight here. In that case, castle is a good option. Uh, while instead of now that you have long castle, he is only the possibility of short castling. So your plan will be to start pushing against his king. Uh, oops. Um, you'll start uh, pushing against this king and. When, as soon as he castle, you're going to be really quick attacking. There is going to be hard time. You're going to have a hard time defending by your opponent. You can push all, and you can push all the uh, pawns on the uh, king side because you you're not scared of the queen. If the queen, for example, plays check, you can just play the pawn in between, and you just continue pushing. So. It's a really simple way to play, and you have a much better position um, after uh, C. Um, and if queen here is basically the only option, then do not have a worse position. After take, pawn takes. It's really a normal uh, with the pawn takes here, because you're just ruining your position. Um, normally... Knight here isn't played immediately because king here and since the queen is traded off it isn't really a problem uh, What we normally play is developing the bishop first Because this is putting him in the loma. You have two moves that can save you now uh, the one is C uh, is uh, C six Now I don't have the queen so the problems isn't that severe with your king position being weak, but I you'll still have your bishop really hard to develop. Your knight is weak. Uh, you can't develop it here. Your rooks are gonna have much more time. Need much more time to mind to double, and you're gonna get a much better attack for white and just much better position. So that's good for you, uh, and that leaves basically only move to be pawn here, because in the case of uh, Knight here, you have basically been waiting, and you, now you're not losing this pawn when you're moving the king away. Um, but if you don't see this, you maybe you will castle, leaving knight here. You're not losing a pawn, but as you can see on the computer, um, it's three plus seven points. That's a lot uh, of points uh, to be leading with. And that is because when you push the pawn forward, the knight is getting into the square in the middle. This is an incredibly strong knight that is hard to get away, rid of. Even what you do, you're gonna get long castle. Um, your opponent isn't really gonna get anything done. And here it recommends trading off, of course, because you're just winning the pawn. And taking this pawn doesn't help you because you're winning this. And he doesn't really have any option uh, to protect the pawn except knight here. And you're just going to push away the pawn forward. You could also play rook here. But then this pawn is falling. And it takes too long time to push pawn here and rook here. Which basically means you're winning a pawn and you're standing much better. Thank you so much for watching uh, this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the Scottish, there will be a video on the right, uh, which you can click, which will lead you to the next part. If the part hasn't come out yet, you can subscribe to be notified when the next part comes out immediately. If you have any suggestions on how this can become better, I'd really appreciate your uh, suggestions down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd also really appreciate a like. Thanks so much for dropping in. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.